All right, what's up everybody? It's your girl Popular Loner here <sighs> coming to you with another video. How you been? What's good with tea? Okay, that's what we're gonna be getting into. I haven't done this in a while. Um, we're gonna be looking at like what's good was tea, okay? What's the tea on you real quick? Check my description down below. I am using my sun oil from my girl 80 shop. As you can see, it's been used quite a bit. This is one of my faves. Um, we gotta get it going. We gotta Y'all know I told y'all once I, I get that energy, I gotta I gotta grab onto it. I gotta take a hold of them reins, okay, before it, it goes. So anyway, we're gonna do three piles. Um, not me about to do four. You saw that? No, we're doing three, and these are gonna be the decks that we're gonna use. Um, conflicted on the order, but I think I'm gonna do these two. Okay, so this is gonna be pile one. All right, pile two is going to be the Vlad Dracula Tarot. I got Vaseline on there. And pile three is going to be the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Oh man, I just got a burst of oomph, okay? I don't know, it could be this deck. I don't know, there's something about this deck. I don't wanna influence nobody, but there was something about this deck. Okay, but don't let me influence you because don't be the one that picks this just because I said that. Next thing you know, girl, the gossip and the tea ain't what you expected, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay these out. Um, I have not shuffled them yet, obviously. I'm just going to do this on camera so you guys can get a quick feel of what each deck is looking like. Um, this is crazy. This deck is reminding me of The Walking Dead. I have been binge watching that lately. Okay, so that's gonna be the Vlad Dracula Tarot. Girl, don't mind it. You know, I gotta fix the outside, honey. The outside perimeter, but for right now, it's standing strong, okay? But, um, yes. And then we have Pile 1. I haven't used this, I think, in a while. Okay. So this is Pile 1. This is kind of what the artwork looks like. It gives me Ed Hardy vibes. Um, Rockstar vibes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Guns and Roses. I don't know. I think of that. Pile 2 again. The Vlad Dracula Tarot. What's the gossip on you? And then we also have... Pile three. What is this one again? Oh, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Excuse me. Um, this will be pile three. Dang. Let me shut up. I don't know why. Maybe this deck is just packing some energy. Every time I touch this deck, I just feel very like in tune. But anyway, <sighs> go ahead and pick your pile. Um, I'm gonna pause it or just you know give you a minute. Just give you a second and I'm going to shut up for like five seconds and let you pick like this for those of you where this will work. So let me just take a breath and shut up. Okay, girl, that was enough time. Pause if you need to. And then for others of you where we need a little bit more. But don't get confused, girl. If you already got your deck, you know, get to it. Timestamps are always in the description. Oh no, here come my um, OCD. Hold on y'all. So let me take another breath and shut up. And we're good. <laughs> so yes you guys, um, those are the piles, those are the selections. Go ahead and pick intuitively and I will see you guys at your pile. Okay. So I just want to channel. I don't know if I'm going to do this with every group. As you can see, like I didn't even take a second to shuffle the deck and do what I needed to off camera. But something is telling me to do it right here. So you know what song just came to me? You know that song that'd be like, tiptoes through the window, by the window, or something like that. <laughs> by the 
them dun tiptoe through the tulips with me. Oh, <laughs> yo, man, that was my song. I mean, it still is my song, but I mean, The Walking Dead. I think it was Insidious. It's a couple movies that just like really turned it creepy for me. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna be channeling. Some of this channeling may or may not apply to you. <sighs> Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, somebody here, I don't know, you could have at some point in life been very athletic, ran a lot. I'm literally hearing somebody say, oh, that's not my pile. Just give me a second, I'm getting there. Because one, I'm getting a little bit more out of breath, but y'all know I am with child, so that, that could be why. But I'm getting like, because I'm thinking about this video I made on Instagram a long time ago where I was dancing to that song. I think it was like a remix of that song. The tiptoe through the window while the wind blows. Some of y'all just cut off a family member. So, okay, real quick. Oh yeah, we spit it out. Okay. Someone here <laughs> has literally put up some boundaries with family. Um, you could be just at a point right now where it might not be beef. You just don't really feel like talking. Um, you don't really feel like talking to them. You kind of just want to go your own way. You don't want the influence. Some of you guys finally just got something off your chest. Okay, I do see that here for someone. Um, I do see someone else here. You have recently started something new. It feels like you've gone to school um, and I could hear someone say, I normally don't say university. I feel like I've started to say that word as I've been online. I normally say college. But some of you guys have went to university or it feels like you've went somewhere that has kind of isolated you from what you're comfortable with. And even if you're having a great time there, I see this like point of a loneliness or just that feeling of I kind of miss um, home or I miss what I used to have. You know what they just took me to? Girl, this happened to me. Um, I went from Louisiana, and when I went to Florida, it was such a shock. <laughs> I, like, I was excited, but it was such a shock. Like, I'm gonna just be honest, you know, I like to keep it real. <sighs> Anybody that knows, honey, I don't want this to come out the wrong way, and I probably shouldn't start off like this because then it's gonna make you think that it's gonna start off in this way but I'm gonna do it anyway I promise y'all I'm not racist but I just had to tell y'all I'm just being honest and I know even if you're not me if you're not black I know you've had an experience like this and you could say it without me thinking that you're racist let me tell you I'm going there I went to Florida mind you I'm coming from Louisiana so where I was at in Louisiana at Barksdale Air Force Base they literally planted us, I really feel like, right in the middle of the hood. I feel like a lot of bases are actually planted <laughs> near the hood, right there. So, what I liked about Louisiana was, I mean, I don't know, it just had a certain culture that I liked. Everybody sounded the same, it didn't matter if you were white, black, Asian, everybody just had this country draw, they had flavor, you know, it just, it had a certain, I don't know, I did see a lot of black people, it just was like, it was different though, like, okay, like, if you go to Atlanta, when I went to Atlanta for the first time, I had seen all these black people, and I seen there was a lot of people that were successful, you know, it was a little bit of a culture shock because of, like, the dynamics, but there were a lot of people that looked like me. But then again, like I said, I grew up in the suburbs. A lot of y'all may not know that, but I grew up in the suburbs. I've always went to a predominantly uh, white school. Um, so it's not that it was too much of a shock, but let me just tell you, I was so used to Louisiana and just how their Waffle House was and just how the culture was. It's culture in Louisiana. So then, <laughs> girl, so I got to Florida on the tip, okay? Not near Tampa, not near Miami. Um, but literally, I feel like I wasn't really in Florida. I was in Alabama. I was on the panhandle. And when I went to the Waffle House, oh, it was like, it was, it was the craziest thing. I don't know why I was so shell-shocked, but it was all, please don't get offended. It was all white people. 
which is not a problem, but I'm trying to explain to you. It's, it's not that it made me upset. It wasn't that. I just was so shocked. I went from looking at a place that had a certain type of vegetation around it to now I'm looking at straight up palm trees and there's sand underneath my feet. Um, and then I, my, the Waffle House is not looking like the Waffle House that I was used to. This is starting to look like back home a little bit, but even back home wasn't like this. Um, and let's just be honest, <laughs> there's some vibes and I just seen 555 five, five on the clock. There are some vibes on the panhandle and I felt it, you know, there's, there's some racism there. I didn't get to experience it like other people have, but because I ain't gonna lie, honey. <laughs> now that I'm where I'm at now, honey, I definitely miss some things about where I was, uh, even though I like where I'm at, but I don't know. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is that is kind of the feeling that I'm feeling for someone here. There's a bit of a, a shock factor. For example, let's say when I went to BMT, there were a lot of girls that were, I don't be knowing if I should say white or Caucasian. There were a lot of girls that were Caucasian that had not grown up like me, where I was in the suburbs and that's, we were, I was with Caucasians all the time. My best friend, you know, all my friends, they had never seen black people. So when it was even just a couple of us in there, it was like shell shocking for them. Um, it was, you know, maybe even uncomfortable. Okay. So I feel like there's something here for someone where there's something making you uncomfortable. It could be like a culture shock. That's what it was. It was like a culture shock. Like everything just hit me at once. Plus you got to think I was also going through hella stuff. I just left a base that I was supposed to be at for like what, five or something years. Of course I chose to, I did an expedited transfer because of the essay incident. Look it up if you don't know what that means. But I feel somebody like kind of having that. They're like, I'm excited about this transition. I was excited, but I'm a little shell shocked. Um, and you could be struggling with that a little bit because you're like, I asked for this. This is what I wanted. Like, I don't know. You know when you finally get something and you're like, whoa, it just hits you. So some of you guys could be having a hard time um, getting acclimated. We even have the two of swords here in the page of wands. But let me see. It almost feels, there's something here that I just feel like kind of just hits you. And some of you guys are having a hard time even being able, being able to express it. Like how I just expressed that. Some of you guys might be feeling some type of way, but it's like, you feel like if you express it, it's going to be taken the wrong way. Not even based off of race. I'm just talking about period, okay? Maybe you asked to go to a specific school or you asked for a certain position or you asked for something and then you got it and you're like, whoa, <laughs> this is a bit much, all right? <sighs> I'm feeling that. I'm also feeling like a temperature chain. It just got like real hot. Something embarrassing could have happened to someone recently. Someone could be a basketball player here. Or you could have played basketball in high school. Let me see what else I'm getting though while we get this. Okay. And I think I talked about this a long time ago. I have a video actually where I was talking about it. I don't know if I said it as eloquently in this video because I didn't expect for that to come up. But I know someone's knowing what I'm talking about. It was just crazy. I said, wow, there is sand. That's a palm tree. I had never really seen a palm tree before. I mean, once when I went to go get my BBL, but I was just like, whoa, whoa, honey. You know how they say you are not in Kansas anymore. It just, it just, I don't know. It just really drove the point home that I was in a new place, about to start a new life and there was no turning back. And I didn't know nobody at all at all okay and then i had oh, i had so many fears based off of bmt with racism so i was just so scared i was like oh my god because i didn't have to deal with that in louisiana i was like oh my gosh you know i didn't hear stories and i don't know the atmosphere is giving me, <laughs> I was like it's giving me certain vibes lord please so i was just scared but everything worked out you know what i mean but let's see. I want to see what dice I'm going to use for y'all. Somebody here dressed up as Freddy Krueger for Halloween or an astronaut. Okay. So who am I talking to? And what's the gossip? Okay, you could be a Leo. Mm. 
Yeah, we got this ninth house energy. Okay, so first of all, I'm seeing some travel here. Um, expansion, learning more. Um, can I be honest? Y'all know I'm gonna keep it real. Oh, this is gonna be a juicy one. There could be some gossip about you um, where people are saying that you think you're better than them. And let me tell you, this is not a dig, honey, because what this tells me is a lot of you guys have elevated. So certain things that you used to do, maybe even childish antics, whether it be, now I'm all here for a little gossip and a little drama here and there. You know, it might not be my drama. I might have to get it off of Zeus Network. You know what I mean? But I, I indulge, honey, so I'm not, you know, I'm not judging. But maybe you were in a mean girl, mean boy energy before and one moment on the clock. It just feels like how you move, how you talk, how you handle things has changed, okay? You've elevated um, to the point where people, you ever been around someone and for whatever reason, you may not know what I'm talking about, but you ever been around somebody and for whatever reason you feel like you shouldn't cuss? Like there's some people that come around me and they feel like that. And I'm like, girl, you don't even know. Like I cuss, but I, I think it's just like whatever energy I'm giving at that time. Um, it's almost giving me like hierophant energy. That is almost what y'all are giving me right now. Um, so there's some gossip. Like, how are they saying this though? Like, tell me. There's just a whole lot of, it doesn't feel like you're acting brand new, but I just saw the three of wands. It just feels like <sighs> someone's not understanding where you're at. Um, <sighs> and I don't want to make this. I don't want to do this example because I feel like this is a little bit extreme, but I feel like this is almost someone, you ever see someone like, I don't know what you have to do to become a pastor, but it almost feels like that. There's some type of spiritual development um, that I feel like you've went through. This could even be maybe you've went to school and you've gained some type of degree, um, some type of knowledge. You've expanded yourself and your wisdom in some type of way. And people are talking about that. You have some people talking about it in a way where I don't feel like they're necessarily hating. It just feels like they're coming from a place where they don't understand. They're like, why are they doing that? Or like, they might think they're better. Or like, they've changed, which, oh, duh, bitch. And you know, duh, you know. Um, others, it just feels like someone's talking about your achievements. Like, oh, like you see they went to school for this. Or you see they graduated this. There's a lot going on about your achievements and what you've expanded towards or something that you're doing. I also feel, okay, um, someone here has been, you might have been MIA off of social media or there's just this energy of like popping up and you're posting. You know how like when someone posts on social media, they might be in Texas one day, France the next, <laughs> or like... They're doing a lot of things. It feels like you're traveling. People are very curious about where you're going. There's a lot about where are they going. So let me see. Anything else you want to tell me about this? What's the gossip on pile one? Okay. There's someone specifically here. Okay, there could be a... I'm going to get very specific, but you know, water it down if you need to. Um, we have more Sagittarius energy here. That's how I'm reading it. And we also have this King of Wands. <sighs> there could be an air or a fire sign. And they do feel more masculine or they just carry masculine energy. Someone's name could start with a P or an M. The name Paul Mitchell, Paul Matheson. I'm not saying that that is them, okay? But P and M, those are just some initials that were coming through here. Um, there's someone, okay, there's someone specifically who's been really watching you, okay? Um, let me see. <laughs> Here we go. Here we fucking go. Yep. Yep. Their name could also start with a K, a B, or a T. Mm. Okay, we're gonna get past this person. Um... I just keep hearing acting brand new, brand new. Whoever this person is, they feel very attracted to you or even more so attracted to your light, okay? What you're representing at this point in time. And I know we say that a lot and you're probably like, what does that mean? I just feel like you seem to be going into a direction that has to make people look up, okay? It has to make people like wonder, like they're really, 
it's like this magnetic draw to you right now where it's like curiosity um you could be very motivational even if you're not really involved with other people talking to other people giving them a you know good old pep talk it just feels like something that you're doing is very inspirational motivational um whoever this person is i feel like you're very motivational to them and you know what I don't even think it's just one person because one second I am getting a vibe of maybe someone that you've had to um, take a step back from um, for many different reasons depending on who this is. One, I'm seeing someone that is very inspired. I mean, all these people are inspired by you, but this also feels like an energy that you came across before that may have hurt you in some way. It feels like there was a misunderstanding loyalty kind of just i don't know it feels like something happened here where it might have even pushed you into this energy where you had to elevate this could have been a friend a love situation this is definitely someone from your past one of these people are um oh okay i'm getting a lot i'm getting three different people <laughs> two of them might be from your past specifically and I feel like there's a masculine here that's very attracted to you. And then you have a masculine that could be coming from the back end, like from your past. And then also a feminine figure. This could have been a friend, partner, whoever, right? Um, but you've definitely cut some people off, okay? Um, these could even be people that have tried to, at least one of these people that I'm seeing in these cards. One of them has tried to talk to you before. I keep losing my breath. I feel like there's this energy of it's not the same. So even if we talk, even if we powwow, it's just not the same. Um, and I feel like they're being highlighted right now because they're really watching you. I feel like, like I said, these people are watching you from a standpoint where there could be some regret. Um, a little bit of mixed feelings. It feels like they might have been on the opposite end, like the end where they did most of the wrong. Um, in the scenario and there's someone here that just this feels like someone that's attracted to you that is very inspired by you that's kind of behind the scenes um and I feel like that's that's something you need to know because there are people that watch you and they might not say anything but they're very inspired by your movement okay Whew. girl that was a lot so let's keep it going okay interesting let me see what's the tea what happened to my little dice which one do I want to use What's the tea? What's the tea on pile one? You definitely got some people sad about you. Why are they calling me right now? I just don't have time. Um, ooh, and that could be the energy. And you heard the Kill Bill um, little sound coming from my phone. If you didn't, it's okay. I'm going to tell you about it. We got Scorpio energy here. So your energy is very Scorpionic to people. Um, very magnetic maybe even misunderstood but again very magnetic okay you just have that energy where there might be some people side-eyeing you but it's like they can't help but to be drawn i mean who is this calling me girl they, you see they called me twice so this must be important let me give let me pause this really quick one second oh my gosh i'm so sorry you guys i hate when people throw off my groove okay anyway some of you guys could be a nurse practitioner um I just see a lot of like elevation here. You know what else with this scorpionic energy? Um, oh yeah, some of you guys could be in the tax market. I don't know what that would be called, but you could work with taxes or be like, I don't know, maybe even an accountant. I don't know why that's coming through too. But you seem to be a little bit hidden. Although you're like, I'm getting someone who's hidden or mysterious, but they're doing their own thing. People know that you got a plan or you got something going on. Um, there's this very ambitious energy. I'm also getting this energy of like someone saying like, oh yeah, pile one just don't want to be bothered. You know, pile one is so focused on this. They act in brand new, like they just don't want to be bothered. Maybe you don't pick up the phone for everybody no more. <laughs> Um, I do feel like there are some people that are missing you and I'm going to pull some cards on them, but I'm also going to pull this energy about these people that I'm feeling that are regretting some things. Who is currently missing pile one? We have an earth sign, specifically a Capricorn. 
yep definitely an earth sign here that's coming through we also have the i think this is the nine of pentacles one two three four five six seven eight nine so a virgo something about a hawk could be very significant red hair red lipstick someone could have been it for halloween someone could be a tattoo artist um, this person could have to wear a mask for work or they could work in the medical field. That is who is missing you right now, okay? Now, who is currently regretting some things with you? Who is currently... And whoever that person is, it seems like they have a good foundation going on for themselves. Yeah, you don't mess with this person no more. Whoever this person is that's missing you, pff, pff, drop the ball, Okay. Um, they could have a scar on their face and it feels like you had to distance yourself from whoever or yeah, well, whoever this is, um, because their energy is just draining. You have to do a lot to like protect your energy with this person. Um, like even when I was just on the phone with who I was on the phone with, I'm like, girl, like I can always feel when my energy is about to be drained. It doesn't have to be like something intentional. It could just be that person is having like an off day and I have to like really like almost I don't want to say disassociate but I kind of have to gray it out okay and I feel like that was the energy with this person they could be a Sagittarius a water sign specifically a cancer I'm also getting some Scorpio energy yeah definitely a water sign because I saw the three of cups this feels like someone that you really had a lot of feelings for. Even just tapping into their energy a little bit is just, oh girl, it's just <laughs> draining. Um, a friendship, um, that three of cups. I mean, there could have been some infidelity, but it just feels like they used to be very close to you at a point in time. Let's go get rid of them, girl. <laughs> because absolutely not. I'm just feeling the drain. Mm -mm. Look at these nails. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just feeling myself get a little drained. So we got to turn them over. So let me put these up here. Let me see what else is the gossip on you. Y'all definitely told the truth to somebody. Like, I don't want to say y'all let somebody have it, but I feel like y'all finally spoke some truth to somebody. And they're really like, there's a lot of thinking about what you said, okay? What's the current gossip on pile one? Okay, we have the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have the nine of swords here. It's in reverse. I feel like there's this energy of like, oh, like pile one is moving on. Like, you know, pile one doesn't feel like or they don't look like they're in this energy no more where they might be in this victim mentality. It feels like you've restored some type of strength, even if you don't feel that way, how you're presenting yourself and how your energy is coming off, whether it's through social media or just period, it looks like you've removed yourself from a dark place. Um, and people are talking about that. A lot of self-help here, picking yourself up. People could even be very curious on how you keep on doing that. Knight of Pentacles. Um, give me more about this Knight of Pentacles. And we have temperance. That's crazy. Both of those go together. Um, there could be a lot of energy, not energy, um, but it feels like you guys have been going through this process of making sure you move at your own pace, not when everybody else wants you to. You do what's comfortable for you. And as you're going, you're not just walking for no reason or just walking without some type of um, intention. It feels very intentional. Um, as you've been moving, you've been gaining skills, you've been studying the environment, you've been picking up a lot of gems, and I feel like that's playing a part in your development, and people are seeing that. Um, I feel like there's this energy here of pile one moves when they want to move, like they make moves when they want to, they're on their own time. Um, you can't control pile one, okay? Pile one, they're going to do what they want, and they're going to do it at their own pace. You know, pile one is very self focused right now. Um, They've made a lot of changes. I'm seeing a lot of like you building. People talking about like you building something. There's something specific here and I'm trying to grab it. What is this specifically though that I'm picking up on? The star card. I feel like this has to do, like I said, with your healing journey. How you look up. Whatever you're looking up at is making other people look up. 
Um, this could even be with, it's giving like stardom energy, limelight energy. People, there's a lot being put on you in a sense where people I really feel like can sense the sun energy, that Leo energy, that Aquarius energy that I'm seeing right here. Because sometimes when I think of the star, I think of the sun. <sighs> people might even be saying that you're very lucky. Um, and I don't know, there's like a lot of, and this feels like gossip, but it, well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like gossip. It feels like thought. There's just a lot of like, how did they get through that? Or like, what exactly are they doing to get through this? Or how exactly are they achieving this? Some of you guys are really putting what you achieved out there and people are just wondering, like, how did you do it? And they're wanting to study what you've done so that they can kind of mimic it. There's a lot of like inspiration here. 717 was just in the clock when I looked up. I don't know why this is coming up, but I do feel like there's someone curious about like who you've been with, who you've been partying with, drinking with, who you'd be going out with, um, who you've been breaking bread with. A lot of curiosity there. But I feel like most of the gossip as far as like what's meant to come out during this reading, it feels like there's a lot of emphasis on what you brought yourself out of and what you're achieving. Um, a lot of achievements here. I don't know what that's about, okay? So let me see if there's something else. Cause I'm getting thirsty, girl. I gotta replenish myself. Let me see if there's anything else. <laughs> as soon as I open this up, we got victory. 808 on the clock. Yeah, there definitely could be some Leos in the building. Wow, as soon as I split the deck, victory and the sun. Big Leo energy. Okay. What else is being said? Like, what's gossip? What's tea? There's just, whether people like you or not, <laughs> there's just a lot of knowing, like, okay, yeah, pile one's gonna make it. People just feel like you just are meant to be successful or you're meant to have a exciting life, okay? We do have storm warning. Let's see what this is about. Patience. I'm telling you, like, if some of you guys recently went through something, it could have been a breakup. You could have lost a family member. It just feels like in some way, shape, or form, there's someone here that was privy to some type of information around, I don't want to even say your downfall, but something that made you sad, something that came through, ruffled your feathers, it caused some friction, it caused some destruction. And there's just a lot about, like, how you've brought yourself out of that how you've been very patient with yourself how you're not pressed to like show everybody or like prove yourself to anybody you're just kind of doing your own thing you're bouncing back that's what people are talking about um but like i said with that bounce back people also might be talking about specifically what you went through which could be a bit triggering here um but with that they have to acknowledge how you're bringing yourself out of that energy some people might not have expected you to bounce back in this way or they could have expected you to handle it differently and you feel like and seem like you're handling it with grace okay so what else are people saying okay we have an anchor we have an owl which is giving me wisdom we have an anchor here you could be traveling you could be in the navy um, I don't know what the hell this is, this fan. I don't know what that is, or is that like a, I don't know. Seashell, there's a lot of like water elements here. Ooh, you got two cats. You can own a cat, we have an airplane. I feel like that's what people are saying, like you could be taking trips, you could have moved to a place, and I was talking about like my Florida experience. Um, you can see what the seashell represents. Very mysterious energy, but also very intuitive. Look at all this. I mean, the cat, this owl, this fan. I also feel like there's been some um, talk about how you've taken time to cool off. Very grounded energy. There could have even been someone that tried you recently for someone here. I am picking up on that energy. And believe it or not, whether they're an enemy or someone that did want to get a certain reaction out of you, they're they're pretty surprised that you did not react a certain way. Um, 
you're handling yourself differently and I feel like it's helping this person to understand that you're not who you used to be and it's causing a change within them. Now that don't mean that you got to continue talking to them because I do feel like whoever that was for, that message, they definitely tried you and they need to get the fuck right. But um, that's how it feels. It just feels very on point, okay? I'm going to pull one more card. I'm doing too much, but I am because I just locked in on this deck and then I'm going to end it there. So what else? Something blunt. Tell me what's going on. What's the energy? What are people saying? What's changed? They need you. You need them. Your friends miss your face. Yeah, I told you. There's definitely some people that miss you. I don't know what I spilled on that. Probably some coffee. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some people that are missing you right now. And they're either talking about how they miss you, but I also feel like there's just a lot of thoughts and reminiscing about you. You could be dreaming about people. I'm not saying that you got to bring them back in your life, but just know, honey, your absence is felt. So, yes, pile one, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you down below in the comments. Okay, um, pile two. So, I'm getting some conflicted energy, and I don't know, like, see, I know I'm tapped in right now. Because all of a sudden, I got this, like, whoosh of, like... Like, girl, you know, <laughs> like someone was just feeling like in their shadow energy. And give me a second because I know not everybody's going to be there. Um, but I was getting that. And then as soon as I, you know, because I was shuffling off camera and I be watching like sometimes I watch stuff in between and I turned on my Tasha K and I just kept feeling like this dark energy. Um, and then the girl on Tasha K whoever like was coming on to her live stream she was like all right Tasha this subject's gonna be a little dark and I'm like whoa was I tapping into her or was I tapping into this so really quick um because some of you guys I'm getting look let me just tell you I'm getting a Scorpio energy some of you guys I'm getting like balloons a party baby shower um it was just my birthday going out drinking you know I've been I've been clubbing I've been really trying to have fun you know um, and this could be after you had like a a revelation about something. It doesn't really feel like it had to have been. It just feels like a celebration. Um, could be trying to shit on people. I don't really know. This other energy feels a little bit darker where it's like you could be going through something. Um, you could have lost somebody recently or it feels like contradicting or like something that a lot of people wouldn't understand for example you ever like and I, I feel this you ever okay some of you guys do you not have like the greatest relationship with your mom um so maybe some people don't understand why how can I explain this um it's almost like when you don't have a good relationship with your mom or with a parent but then you're also like pressed about having a relationship with them i don't know how to explain this but it just feels like something about this is contradicting to others where they don't understand your point of view or maybe they don't want to deal with it or maybe um it might be too heavy something about what you're going through i feel like sometimes people can make you feel bad about feeling that way and it really doesn't have to do with you feeling that way because your feelings are valid it just feels like this is also heavy for whoever you're talking to for whatever reason, whether it triggers them, whether they feel guilty um, or like example, like I was just listening to this girl talk and she was saying how the father of her child. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I probably should have said trigger warning, but um, I mean, hey, but she was just saying that the father of her child passed. But there's also like this very. Um, it's also one of these conflicting type of backgrounds where the father her child low-key high-key wasn't really the greatest person it's one of those things i don't want to sound like a catch-22 but someone's going to understand what i'm saying um some of you guys could be going through that where you're just having mixed feelings about a certain situation um and i feel like also there's someone here i need to tell you this if you're into crystals amethyst honey okay Amethyst, I'm seeing a lot of threes here, um, repetition threes, 303, but amethyst, uh, need some amethyst. Because even while the girl was talking, I had to put my amethyst up at the 
so the phone, you know, I had to kind of put my energy back. So I'm getting this total vibe for this group, no matter where you're, you know, where you're at, whether you're in a good place or not so good place, please make sure you're protecting your energy right now, especially with what you're watching, what you're listening to, um, what you're engaging in, pay attention to how you feel when you indulge in this. Uh, and if you're feeling like you need to distance or just protect your energy by turning it off turn it the fuck off okay i just had to say that but anyway um what's the vibe here like give me both sides of this coin okay where is this group at energy wise for my pile two where are they at energy wise absolutely not we're not doing two we can only do one where are they at energy wise give it to me straight why is that trying to Okay, hold on. I don't know. I am getting this energy of someone saying, like, I'm just done trying. I cannot take all of these. I can't. I cannot take all of these. These be hard to shuffle. But I'm going to get it, y'all. Give me a second. And that's crazy. You got this little cat with this celebration hat. Okay. What's the current energy? Mm. we have the seed in the medallion so i'm gonna take two of these and i'm gonna just trust that my intuition is gonna guide me in the way that it needs to because i will not let the fact that i couldn't just get one of those cards frustrate me um there could be that type of energy where we're just like we're working with what we got here so i really just kind of want to focus on let me just find it really quick i really kind of just want to focus on the the shadow and like you'll see i'll show you in a second hold on let me get to this the lover the shapeshifter the crone the hunter the poet some of you guys are really in a place of i don't even want to just say self-discovery we say that all the time i just need a different word because I feel like you guys are probably there where you're just trying to get to know your energy while detaching from what's just not working. Um, like I am picking up on this. It doesn't feel like a breakup, but it feels like a situation ship that you might have walked away from or you're just not putting energy into it. Um, like we're not pressing. We're not forcing it. Like it is what it is. We're working with what we got. Um... Some of you guys could have done something recently with your body. Um, breast reduction. You could be thinking about that. Not saying that you need that. But I just literally thought of one of my friends. So. Girl. It'd be, it'd be this book right here. Let me see girl. The box. Okay let me channel while I'm doing this. I do still feel like although you guys are taking that time I do still feel like this energy of like still being attached to something while also detaching from it I do feel like some of you guys are curious about someone or something but you're deciding to kind of like leave it where it's at so first of all with this medallion we have upholding tradition protecting honoring we also have when dark, oh, that was when light. Okay, so when dark, it's burdensome, inheritance, habituation. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Give me a second. The passing on of sacred objects is an ancient ritual within families, between lovers, and in tribes across the globe. We gift jewels, treasures, keepsakes, and mementos of all kinds. Some of great material value, value others that hold emotional resonance, and still others with both. Yet when these gifts are bestowed upon us, it is important to recognize that they may bind us to an unspoken agreement or promise. When the medallion card appears, be aware of how this object holds. Oh, be aware of how the objects you hold dear may be embedded with unconscious energy or expectation. Materials hold consciousness and it's time to recounsel the vibration of the objects around you. What do you covet and collect? Why? Is there an object you have held on to for years? 
that you are ready to release. See, we just talked about that. Perhaps it is time to reach for the medallion that aligns with your deepest values. I feel like there's a lot of that. It's a lot of like, whether it had to come, you know, instantly where you're just like, oh yeah, I want to get into alignment with, you know, my goals or like, I want to put myself in a better position or whether it came after, like I said, like a hard truth that came out about someone or something. And now you're like really trying to get into alignment. I see a lot of trying to get yourself together, especially before this new year. Um, and some of you guys are learning some hard truths as you're going through that energy, but you are making it through. Okay. So let's find this other one so that I could put this damn book down, girl. Let me see. So now we have the seed. Ooh, perfect. It's right here. Okay, so when light, we have generative, fertile, germinating, building. Some of you guys are wanting to build something, create something, maybe even become pregnant, could be pregnant now. We also have when dark, festering, stewing, dormant, okay? So I'm going to read it. Beginnings come in many forms. They are not always a beautiful seed placed intentionally in nourishing soil. That kind of sounds like what I just said. It's almost like that beautiful beginning being you realizing that you need to do X, Y, and Z in order to come into alignment um, with whatever that higher goal is. But you know, it ain't always like peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? So we have origin stories like any birth story are complex, surprising, multi-layered, and usually reveal a central image or detail that represents the fully formed being. Simply stated, the end is present in the beginning, or the entire oak tree resides within the acorn. Every time I think about that, that's like really crazy that like a tree comes from an acorn. And like when you look at an acorn, you just look at it and be like, okay, it's an acorn. But honey, like the power that it packs, when you really dive deep, it's like crazy. So anyway, whether you follow this imaginal theory or not know that when this card appears there is potent generative energy all around it stirs your very insides and usually results in an antsy and patient feeling pay particular attention to what agitates you as it is a sure sign of growth to come you are bumping up against a growth edge it is from the grit that the pearl eventually comes to be so yes i feel like that had to come through to let you guys know that you guys are definitely making the right decisions right now especially if it feels uncomfortable Feel those feelings so that you could be able to distinguish what it is needing or like what it is that's needed from you to be able to push past it. Um, especially if it does have to do with getting certain people out of your environment or just releasing certain things. Um, and don't feel guilty about it. I'm telling you something about someone here might be really feeling guilty or just I don't know if the word would be indifferent about how they're feeling about something and they're having a hard time validating their feelings maybe because they're not used to feeling like this with this particular situation um but i feel like for whoever i'm speaking to it's representative of your growth like there's been a shift that's happening in your mind so yes you're not going for the same shit that you used to go for you're not taking the same bs or you're not okay with the same behavior from people or yes you're wanting more from relationships you know it's all talking about or just coming back to growth and just what you're trying to align with and it's like your body's getting ready to shift into that energy even if oh, it is uncomfortable honey Woo! okay backing out that's why i'll be touching this deck because it just be doing too much it does too much i mean thank you for the messages but it does too much okay i just seen the five of wands um, I see, I don't think that's the main energy, but some of you guys could kind of be at a, at odds with someone. Um, your patience might even be running low with a specific situation, but let's tap in. Okay. What's the gossip? What's the tea for pile town? What's the gossip? What's tea? What's going on? What are people saying? Okay 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 we have the tower scorpio energy we have the queen of wands it says better her body rot than be led to captivity and we have the ace of pentacles it's funny because i don't really read the bottom of those and it just stood out so i feel like it's crazy because it's not coming through as gossip it's coming through as like your energy 
Um, but just imagine what people would say about this. Your energy feels like, you ever watch The Walking Dead? Like how there might be some people willing to stay in a certain spot because it's comfortable. It feels like the better option instead of taking risks. People are talking about how you're putting yourself in situations to do different things. You're taking risks. I'm literally thinking about my friend. Um, she left hometown. She took on this job as a traveling social worker. She was a little nervous at first, but it elevated her in a way like that's just like whoa like there's more out here it just feels like there's been some type of shakeup that you threw yourself into that people are talking about um and it feels like it could be people from your original i don't know why i was about to say your home base um sometimes people that know us or knew us from back then people from our hometown so to say if they are stuck on a certain image of us or if they're like they can only see through their own lens it might be hard for them to see why someone would move out of town or why they would choose to go to a college out of state or why they would take certain risks. This feels like the people around you that might be stagnant or that might be a little bit narrow minded. Let's just know call a spade a spade. They're really noticing how you're throwing yourself into certain situations in which I'm not going to lie. Some of them. They might even been wanting you to fail a little bit. I am getting some frenemy energy. Um, and I'm not standing up for them, but I feel like it's just coming from a place of they don't have the balls to do it. We just got to call a spade a spade. Um, but the way you're coming out of it, Queen of Wands, it's so funny. This is the type of energy where people will say, well, they might try to talk you out of doing something. Um, they might even be in your face. You could just, You could feel the energy where someone's like, Oh, that's good. I'm glad you got that opportunity. But you could just tell there's just some off energy with it, okay? I had someone do that with me when I went to the uh, military. And then I found out the reason why they were trying to talk me out of it is because they were scared to go. It was something that they always wanted to do, but they were scared to go. Not that that's a flex, you know, now. But anyway, <laughs> um, it almost feels like this frenemy type of energy. Someone that could smile in your face and maybe act like they're supportive but low-key high-key waiting for you to become frightened waiting for you to kind of fail in a sense but you don't and you didn't queen of wands okay you came out on top you came out elevated you came out with that degree that certificate that experience you're glowing okay you leveled the fuck up from something that you threw yourself into and it feels like whatever this is for whoever i'm talking to it has helped you to gain money it has put you in alignment with where you need to be at this specific moment not even just talking about in general in life because we're going to get misaligned be in alignment you know it's a on and off track but it just feels like you're on part of where you need to be or on par with what what you need to be or where you need to be at this time and people are noticing that i'm seeing your money grow i'm seeing you even look you just look like money you feel like money walk like money even talk like money it's giving okay there's just a very successful energy here. Um, you give longevity um, as far as what your energy is showing, which I feel like is shifting things for you in all areas, whether it be career-wise, love life, 1717 17 was just on the clock. I'm seeing people look at you differently. They're not looking at you as a one-night stand. No offense to anybody else. Um, they're, they're looking at you as longevity, okay? It's giving long-term. Um, it's something about your energy that has shifted, that has matured, that's giving like Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, it's giving that. And it's shifting things around you, like the people that want to come around you, who you want to surround yourself around. It's shifting maybe even um, a job is not looking at you just for... I don't know, a fill-in, okay? Just a substitute at the moment. You know, even if you are a substitute, this is not me judging, but I'm just saying, they're not just looking at that only for you. They're they're wanting you to be in that position because they're wanting you to get to that full position. Would it be a full position as a teacher? Like, I don't know much about it, but it's not giving here for the moment. It's giving, no, we want them to stay. Um, so there's just something very promising about your energy, very committed, very loyal, and I feel like that's what you're starting to manifest in when it comes to the people that want to come around you the opportunities that want to come around you people are really talking about you as if you are very grand okay there's a lot about like your money or just the type of woman or man you are there's a lot about that 
Um, and it's crazy because the people that could have been doubting you, Loki, now that you're on top, those will be the main ones. Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm, I'm so glad you did that. Trying to stand behind you. Like, now they want to learn. So it's crazy because although I'm getting this frenemy energy from these people, your risk and level up is what's going to help them to start to see the potential in themselves. Not that that's necessarily your job, but I just feel like it's something that's naturally happening with you following your own steps, okay? So people are definitely saying that you're very beautiful, sexy, um, very magnetic, um, very ambitious, spicy when need to be, okay? Or when need be, um, you say what you want, very strong feminine energy. Um, I mean, you could be male or female, some of you guys are really close with a grandmother. There's just something here about your energy that's giving powerful. People are saying that. Okay. Very luxe type of vibes. What's the gossip on my pile two? What's the gossip on my pile two? We have the queen of cups. What's this about? You do have people also saying that you're very sweet. Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> okay, what's this about? Hold on. I'm trying to see the vibes. Queen of Pentacles. Whoa. We got all the queens here. They're in different, like, I don't know. They're they're doing different things because we got this Queen of Swords in reverse. But I just feel like there's different qualities with each queen, which can almost equal to the Empress in a way, um, where people are just talking about you from these different perspectives, okay? Um, like with this Queen of Cups, this was giving me, there's someone that's attracted to you right now, romantically. Let me just ask really quick. Um, yeah, they could be a Leo. There could be a couple of people very attracted to you. You might not be interested in them. Um, the letter W, O, M is coming through, V. But regardless, there are actually people very competitive about you behind the scenes. I don't know if you want them. You kind of seem to be like looking in a different direction. But there's a lot of people looking at you when it comes to being attracted to you, okay? Very sweet energy here. Um, people are saying that you're very sweet, very in tune with your emotions. You have like... You're like multi, you know, we're all multi-dimensional, but you're like very tapped in with all different qualities that the Queen of Wands would carry, the Queen of Cups would carry. This Queen of Swords in reverse, I want to ask about it. And then we have this Queen of Pentacles. There is somebody wishing, although I feel like you speak your mind, there's someone wishing that you would speak your mind a little bit more about a specific topic. This is someone specifically. Let me see who this is. Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse? What's going on with this Queen of Swords in reverse? We have this Six of Wands. Give me a second. I gotta see something. Okay. There's this weird energy. Um, two things. There, if there's any tension between you and a friend that it just feels weird. It feels like there's tension sometimes, we just don't talk about it, but we still claim to be really close or partners, whatever, I, it doesn't matter. Like, um, this could even be like, it doesn't feel like love. It, there's just something funky about this Queen of Swords. There's someone in your environment that feels like you have more to say, but you're not saying it. This is a very specific energy, okay? We have some Leo energy here. Could be an air sign. Um, it just feels like there's something that they're like, why haven't they said this yet? Um, could even be some beating around the bush. Let me close this really quick. They just came in. I'm trying to see what this is. This is interesting. Okay, there could be someone also a little intimidated by your success. It just feels weird because this feels like someone that is also like a friend. I don't know. That's one storyline I'm getting. I'll leave that there for whoever that's meant for. Um, we have some Leo energy here. But other than that, I also feel like there's this energy of you're very humble when it comes to your success. You don't have to boast about it. 
I mean, you could talk about your accomplishments, but you don't have to be ignorant about it or like um, rude. Let me say rude or like crass about it. There's just this energy of like your success speaks for itself. You don't have to do too much to make someone feel intimidated or like to put yourself out there. What you do, your energy, it speaks that language. So you don't have to gloat, okay? You don't really feel like a gloater. You feel very humble. That could bother some people, <laughs> you know? Um, some people, I don't know why, but they are, uh, they can, I don't know. Some people get rubbed the wrong way when someone is very humble about what it is that they have. So you could have some of that energy around you. But regardless, there are a lot of people that are like, wow, like pile two is very humble. And y'all don't have to gloat. People gloat for you, okay? You don't have to brag on yourself. People brag for you. People are really saying that you're a great business person. Um, your business is very successful. You have great ideas. It Like, people would be... Like, it's very flattering to be in your energy. Um, like, you would be the person that people would be able to depend on. You don't have to really depend on other people. Now, you could be like, now, P, now, I do be having to depend on people. Like, I'm barely holding it together. But people don't see that when they see you. This is just your energy. And this could be something that you guys have dealt with where people might assume that you know more than what you do know. And it could be a little bit frustrating. But it's because of your energy, okay? You just carry a certain energy that's very queen-like, okay? King-like, if you will. Um, someone could be saying that you're very charitable. There's a lot of noble energy here. You have a nice house, nice place. You have nice items. You dress very nice. You don't have to do the most, okay? You don't have to do the most to be seen. Very humble energy. Um, and very successful with the Six of Wands, okay? What else is being said about my pile two? What else do they need to know? What's the gossip? What's tea about my pile two? What else is being said? Ace of Wands. Yeah, you just give opportunity. People are saying that you just have multiple opportunities. You just, like, this is what they think. They think that you just, like, things just fall into your lap. Like, you could do whatever you want. So even if you are struggling, people don't think you're struggling. People could really forget that you need love, too. <laughs> that you need sometimes a shoulder to cry on because they just assume that you are so strong. Um, that you could just make a way. Um, you could be in a lot of people's corner and they might not be in your corner a lot. It's, I don't feel like people try to, you know, use your intuition. I don't feel like they try to leave you in the dark. There's just this assumption that you got it all together. And I'm not saying that that's right, but people do feel like that. Um, we have serving soup from a boiled thief and pawling steak. With this seven of cups, I just feel like there's a lot of energy. Like there could be some assumptions that you just have all these options um in career maybe even in love um let me ask some more what's going on with the seven of cups specifically the star <laughs> that's crazy how both of those kind of line up a little bit um and let me move this in because those are kind of like Similar cards, but not similar with this star card and the six of wands. You just seem like, like people just feel like they have to tread carefully with you. But it doesn't feel like, oh, we got to tread carefully with um, pile two because they'll just cut us off. It doesn't feel like that. It more so feels like <sighs> you're just a hot commodity. You just feel like that star or like that person where people want to be on your good side um they want to be able to say they know you or come around you it just feels like a i don't know like i ain't gonna lie it feels like y'all got followers <laughs> low-key um let me see how i can explain this but it just feels like you have options um i think this is more so coming out like i don't know people just assume that you have it all together like you have options you know how to make shit happen um if one look miss one next 15 one coming if you miss one bus you got more buses coming whether that be in love career so i think people sometimes do forget that you are like you know a human 
and you know you have feelings and things like that but people really hold you on a pedestal i will say that like there's a lot of pedestal holding type of energy here um i do feel like there's someone specifically that is mourning you at this time they feel like you've replaced them let's see who this person is who is this person that feels replaced by well how was i about to say by my scorpio who is this that feels replaced but who is this person that feels replaced by my pile two that's sad at this moment we have a knight of pentacles who is this person so they could be an earth sign tell me more about who this person is this is someone that is very slow moving or they move slow in some way shape or form they could look out for themselves they could be very defensive we have the nine of wands um they could be a fire sign or an earth sign but this person feels like they do what they have to do in order to survive. And it could be um, hurtful to some other people. Um, but it's all they know. Survival mode. And I feel like you might have been one of these people on the stake at some point in time due to this person's way of living. Um, like they do what they need to in order to eat, to survive, to make it. Not to say it's right or not, but I feel like this person is very strategic and in a way, you might even call this person selfish at this time, all right? Um, they've been through a lot. They could have had a very rough child. Okay, I hope that clip kept, okay? So like I was saying, I don't know when that cut off. But whoever this person is, they could be like a businessman, businesswoman. Um, but whoever this individual is, they're more so describing like how they move, okay? They move when they want to. They don't really say much. Um, very selective with who they come around and I am getting a selfish energy to them it makes sense very survival mode type but it can kind of cut other people in the process okay so that's who is currently missing you right now like I said an earth sign or a fire sign so let's see I hope that didn't cut out a bunch of shit but you know girl we're gonna keep it moving <laughs> if it did honey you just wasn't meant to hear it it is what it is but let's see what else are people saying about my pile two let's get some blunt truths what else are people saying about my pile two at this moment what's good with tea we have you're the you're on the same team play like it I feel like people are saying that you're a team player um, you just have this very, I don't know, it just feels like a good energy, you know, as far as like what people pick up on, like very humble. This would be like the type of king or queen that isn't so deep in their ego that they feel like they can't give to people. Like this is one of those kings or queens that's like not just feared but they're respected before anything like people love them you know what i mean it's given like a john f kennedy would that be the person i can compare it to i don't know it just feels like you're well liked by people and we just oh and we also have just say those five little words you decide where to eat yeah like you decide where you want to go what you want to do who you want to eat with how you want to eat, what you want to eat. There's a lot of like independent energy here. This brings me back to this seven of cups energy. Like, and when I look at this, just say those five little words. This reminds me of just snap your fingers and it's yours. People, like you have a lot of control. Like people, I want to say, I don't want to say you control people, but this would be good energy for some of y'all. It doesn't feel like y'all might have a platform because it feels like y'all more so have like a well actually no i ain't gonna say that this just feels so business like like you guys do something with your hands but you could have a platform um where you do something through media like a youtuber um and there's a lot of people that just i don't want to say they're under your spell but they would listen to you like if you started a business or if you make a status or if you like say something people are going to listen like there are people that really want want to and do listen to you low-key high-key like that's the energy so yes pile two that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and i'll see you guys down below in the comments all right so i don't know the vibes i'm getting for this group and you know i'm just gonna channel a little bit but it really feels like you guys are somebody in the community like because my first question was like who are they to their community like some of you guys need to know how influential you are in your community you could be a therapist or maybe like a lot of people just come to you for advice um it feels like you leave some type of mark 
and I don't know, they're wanting me to tell you to be aware of that. There's something else too. Where do they want you to focus right now? Where are you being asked to focus? Fifth house. Yeah, so like some of you guys could want to work with kids. You could own a daycare or maybe you're a teacher. But that's giving me like your creative passions like or like what brings passion to your life, okay? Um, there is an influence here of like children. So maybe like if you're going through a certain process, I know I'm kind of jumping around like focusing on the inner child, doing things that make you feel light, fun. Here we go with the sun, okay? Um, but like your talents, I'm getting like talents, energy, a lot of creativity. I don't know, I'm getting a lot of that. So give me one second. Ooh, not my arm hurting, girl. I don't know if some of y'all broke your arm. My right arm just like, <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. But let me see what else. Fifth house matters for sure. I'm telling you, somebody here is definitely meant to have some type of business where you're catering to children, okay? Um, the youth, it feels that way. Just saying. Um, I don't know if it's a daycare, like I said, a teacher, nursery, I don't know. Would it be a pediatrician? I don't know, but I am picking up on that. So let me see why they wanted to ask me this. Uh, someone here, you do a lot. It could be very tiring. I'm seeing 444 on my phone. Um, you could have a very stressful job. Some of you guys do work in the medical field. Um, it's giving like some type of motherly vibes for some of you, okay? You could also do something where you have to travel a lot or you're always on the move, you're always on the go. Um, you have to stand up for a lot of people. You could be like a motivational speaker. That's just the vibes that you give, okay? This could also be what people are saying about you. Like, I don't know, there are some people where I'd be like, man, like they don't understand. Like their voice is just so powerful. Like they just give me like talk show hosts. Like someone could be saying that about you. Um, but let's see, how does the community view this pile? Okay, there are some people saying that you're wasting your gifts, okay? You're not seeing your full potential. Um, you haven't noticed it. So we have the Knight of Wands. We have Judgment. <laughs> we have the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of people here. So who are you to the community? I feel like you show up like a couple different people. This is almost like pile two, but different. It feels not as mature, I, I must say. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there could be some people that get this impression that you're a bit childish. They might even think you're a player or like you're just not as well seasoned. But honey, they be wrong, okay? Like you shock a lot of people with the knowledge that you have once you do break out and um, kind of show that side of you. A lot of people are realizing that you would actually be really good in business. I'm just getting a lot of energy. Um, like you seem very fun, very kind of here, there, here, there. But I'm also getting this, um, you are very underestimated. It's crazy because people could see, I don't know, I'm getting two different things. There's people here that see, they're like, dang, like I wish they would do something with their talents, like home in on one talent. Um, maybe you guys have a hard time with that. You're doing a lot of different things at once, which you know, you got to follow your own path with that. This is just what people are saying. Um, but then there's also this energy where it's like, fuck, that just threw me off. Dang, what was I about to say? And maybe some of you guys are like that. You could, uh, you could be like me. Like maybe, I don't know. You just don't do one thing. You do multiple things. Um, you're talented in multiple things. I keep thinking of Snoop Dogg and how he does different stuff. I'm thinking about my cousin. Like one minute he could be playing the violin, next minute he's I don't know, doing taekwondo. Then the next minute he's learning how to do what is that called? Like um, that not tie tying. Is it hero? I don't know, I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna say Hiroshima, but I don't think that's it. Um, but like that fancy tying, I don't know, I can't think of it right now. But next you know, he's using nunchucks, like I don't know. So 
I do see this energy of you being very fun. Um, this feels very free spirited, but when you want to learn something and when you want to do something, no matter how quirky it is, no matter if people feel like it's going to be a failure, it doesn't matter. You're going to take your time and you're going to see it through. That's one thing I will say people are saying about you. You don't, people are saying that you don't really care how you're viewed. Um, you kind of just do your own thing. A lot of you guys are very quirky to other people, um, but they appreciate it. Okay. Um, but it's crazy because I see you having some followers. Like once people get past the quirkiness, they're like, wow, like they really got some wisdom. Like they're not as childish as what I expected, or they're not as, uh, airheaded as what I would expect. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like that's coming through. Um, I don't know. It just feels like you have a young spirit. So some people might just get a certain idea about you and they might underestimate you in certain areas until you display another part of you or until maybe they get close to you or they see you in action. I'm getting that. Okay. Um, someone here, you could be a tattoo artist. You could do charity acts. You could be well liked at a specific, um, like let's say you work at an eatery or somewhere where you have to serve drinks, like you could be a bartender or you serve food. It feels like people like you a lot, like you feel like the person that will get the most tips. Um, we do have the Six of Swords. You guys don't feel super problematic, you just feel like you do your own thing. It just feels like a lot of people might not understand your way. Um, but you guys don't really care, you know, there's just like this quirky energy about this pile. I do also feel like you guys are very funny. So let's see, what are people saying about you? Definitely got somebody attracted to you, but yeah, well, let me ask about that. Who's this person that's attracted to my pile three? We have a Scorpio or a fire sign. I'm getting some Aries, Scorpio energy, a lot of Mars here, maybe even some Leo. So let's just say a Scorpio or a fire sign. Um, this feels like someone, I mean, you could have some past people looking at you, but whatever, you know, that's not fun. Um, but this person feels they could be, I'm not going to say they're emo, but they just, they have a tendency, like they appreciate I'm not going to say the dark side. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like they know how to dive into those, those shadow energies. This feels like someone that's not scared to tap into that shadow energy, express their feelings. They could like to wear a lot of dark clothes. Um, you ever, you never hear like sad girl, sad boy vibes. Like, I don't know. There's just something about their aesthetic that might give that. I'm not saying that they're like that. Um, but I also feel like they're very attractive. Um, they could even be because I'm also seeing like a specific style. They could dress alternative, punk-like. Um, they are also quirky in their own way, but this person is very attractive, okay? Whoever this is, I feel like you'd be attracted to them. So they're attracted to you. Um, outside of that, because I don't know, you could be aware of this person, but they kind of seem like they're in the background. This feels like someone, I'm not going to lie, there could have been a moment where you guys tried to, like maybe you tried to hit on this person or I don't know, there could have been a time where y'all could have clicked, but it just didn't happen. And I'm not talking about like, oh, that was an ex and you know, we just didn't work out. No, it feels like maybe you guys were at the same bar one night and you notice that you were attracted to this person, but you just didn't get their number. And then, you know, a bunch of time went past. And then, I don't know, at some point in life, you guys ended up at the same place again. And it's like, now you have a chance to kind of redeem yourself. That's how this feels. This feels like someone that you've had your eye on at some point in life, and they've had their eye on you, but someone just did not act on the opportunity. That's how it feels, okay? Um, so let me see. What's the current gossip on you? Wow, whoever that person is, they have a lot of sexual energy towards you, but <laughs> we're not tapping into that. But let's see. What are people... I'm kidding. Some of you guys are masculine and there's a lot of feminine energy that wants to be around you. Just saying. 
Um, but what's the gossip about this pile? I keep feeling like I gotta keep shuffling. It's like this this might be all over the place. There might be a lot of different things. Let's see what comes out. What's the current gossip on this group? Mm. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I'm liking this energy that people are bringing. Like, it's giving bougie. The sun. Yeah, you're a good time. You seem like you're always happy. Like, people might assume that you're always kind of happy or very optimistic. Um, you could have a very round face. You could have a very nice, nice skin. People are saying that. Something about your skin. Um, you seem bougie, though. You seem like lux like you seem well manicured like even if you're very like free spirit i keep thinking about my cousin like um like he's male but he's like very well kept together but he's also very free spirited he got like um what are those called he got like not wicks but his locks are free form a little bit but i don't know there's just a certain essence about him that still gives like bougie i don't know it's just a different vibe you guys kind of have that there's like this all over the place energy but it's very like refined in a way or like you just make it like that you know who else i'm thinking about and i can't think of his name right now but there's this one boy um he be on tiktok and he always do those videos where he's like he's black boy he i don't know he might have tattoos locks um i think he has piercings i think he does music but he's always doing those videos where he's like basically taking other people's videos and their story times and like breaking them down um and he's like this is about to be good like someone's gonna know who i'm talking about but um it's giving me that type of energy but let me see people really like your hair um, you could like to be outside. People are always talking about how you like to be in nature. Yeah, you guys are kind of like a wild card. Um, so there could be a lot of different assumptions about you, but they're very fun. At least what I'm picking up on right now. You guys just seem very fun. Like people are saying that you're into a lot of different things. Um, you try a lot of different things. You seem very free spirited. Some of you guys could date both sexes. You just don't. You don't just stick to one thing in some way, shape, or form, if that makes sense. But it's like, it's your thing. So that's why I feel like there's a, a sense of like, it's refined. Because if someone else was doing it, they might think it's sloppy. But when you do it, it's, it's yeah, that's pile three. So we accept it. Like, that's how the vibe comes through. Girl, I'm getting hungry. Not the stomach growl. Girl, <laughs> give me a second. Girl, this baby, like girl this baby this baby like i don't be wanting to eat <laughs> like i have i've eaten enough today i feel like but the baby's like no bitch like it's time to eat some more okay what else are people saying four of cups yeah i do feel like tell me about about this four of cups people feel like there's something here that you're not seeing about yourself um yeah i feel like it's something about your talents um but also there could be someone feeling like you're you ignore them. Um, who is this person specifically that's feeling ignored by you? Um, I don't, I mean, if this is someone you're dating, that's one thing. But it's someone that I feel like wants to be in your energy. Like with the four of wands, I mean, they could be an Aries. Um, this could be your partner. I don't know. They might feel a little bit ignored by you. You could be disengaging. Someone that you're talking to, someone that you're building with. Um... This is definitely someone that has some romantic attraction towards you. But it feels like you guys aren't really that interested. Whoever this person is. Other than that. I feel like people are just like. Why haven't they done this yet? Or like why haven't they moved out of town yet? Or why haven't they bought a house? Which is not their business. But there's just certain expectations that I do feel like some people have. Because of how talented you are. Or because of how you are. And they're just wondering why haven't you done it yet. Okay. Um, if you are. Some of you I ain't gonna lie. You could be a little bit hiding behind a mask. With a specific person that you're attracted to. Where it's like. You don't really let them know you're attracted to them. You just kind of like their stuff. They're like, why have, hasn't like Pile 3 said anything yet? There's someone waiting for you to kind of like spill the beans, to talk to them, to say something. Um, they're like waiting for you to make a move. I'm not going to lie. Who is this person waiting for Pile 3 to make a move? 
Oh, three of swords. They could be an air sign. Who is this person? Uh oh, 10 of cups in reverse. I don't know if that's supposed to be reversed or not because it hit my thumb. Mm, I ain't gonna lie. There could be someone, there could be history here. There could be some history here and you might even be avoiding this person for a reason or maybe you're not wanting to come on too strong for a reason. There's some type of history here, something. Or there's like a click here where you guys are linking spiritually <laughs> or just, you ever just have a pull to somebody? There might just be this pull, but they're like, why haven't they said anything or why aren't they doing more? Um, I'm also hearing some of you say, I just don't want to go back down that road. So this could be someone that you dealt with before and you might still flirt with them or like send little signals, but you're not ready to like bring them fully back into the picture. Um, and they're like wishing that you would just kind of like make that move. But some of you guys are being very strategic about this. Maybe because this person um, hurt you before or things just didn't work out or you could still be healing from a certain dynamic that didn't work out. So you're kind of playing it safe. What else are people saying about this pile? The chariot, the nine of cups and the king of swords okay now some people have <laughs> yeah y'all have different sides now I, listen <laughs> that's why i say people don't need to get it confused okay although you are very like fun if need be you can be cutting okay you can really let people have it with where you're at now you're very firm with your boundaries you have this strong willpower that you've been working very hard to like really um get to like a lot of you guys are very knowledgeable about chakras and just certain things and that could be something that you've been working a lot on like your solar plexus and then also your heart chakra um and even your throat chakra yeah girl um and i feel like there's are some people that are saying oh don't get it confused like they ain't as nice <laughs> They ain't as nice as they let on or they ain't like, like that's the thing with this energy, people just might assume that you're just naive in a way, but let somebody, you know, step the wrong way. Let somebody, you know, get a little too confused for a little too long. You gonna let them know, okay? I also feel like you don't need much to be happy. That's what people are saying. Like you seem very fulfilled in your own energy. You don't need validation. You kind of just do your own thing. It's given like a quirky vibe that just moves how they want to move. And if someone crosses you, you will let them know. Um, but you don't have to step into this energy or be in this energy all the time. But I do feel like some of you guys can get a little bit moody with this cancer energy and it comes out to play sometimes. Um, but overall, like, I just feel like you're well liked <laughs> and just who you are is just respected, even if people don't understand it in a sense, okay? So let me see, what else are people saying about this group? I'm not getting too much um, besides that. But let's see, what else are people saying? We have, you still don't effing get it, listen. So you could be a good listener. And we also have your boundaries are trash. Block those bad vibes. Yeah, I feel like you yourself, you are a very good listener. Um, can be very empathetic, um, a good friend. <sighs> Commonly in relationships, you might get the short end of the stick, even though people might assume that you're a player, but you might get the short end of the stick a lot. Very attractive. Um, but with this, your boundaries are trash. I feel like there has had to be a lot of healing around just how you treat yourself and how you allow other people to treat you, which is why this King of Swords comes out in the way that it does at this point in time in your life. I do feel like at one point in time, y'all boundaries was trash, but you guys have worked on that so much, okay? To the point where it shows up in the way that it needs to with just how you are how you move how you validate yourself and also kind of you know how you give some people a lash and if need be um so people might also be talking about that too like oh pile three like they don't they don't take no shit no more like pile three like they just move a certain way with you there's a certain respect that people have to have and people might come around you that you haven't seen in like years you might just come across them and they might try you just because of what they were used to and they find out real quick people talk about that like oh shit i was not expecting that like 
or like I wasn't expecting them to act like that or remember that I did that like mm. so you make people stand on business okay so I love that so yes Paul 3 that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and I'll see you guys down below in the comments